everyone i hope you're all doing really well today thank you so much for joining me for today's video so as you've just seen i've just put a face mask on i've just been feeling like really tired lately and my skin i think is showing that um so i use the oski at london renaissance mask nutri-active brightening and resurfacing mask i have used this one be once before um but i can't remember when i used it um but i've seen other people talk about this and say how good it is so i thought i'm gonna give that a go but today i have set aside like the majority of the day to sort out and tidy my wardrobe I wanted to do this over Christmas, um, but I didn't get around to doing it. Over Christmas, I was really in that very motivated sorting out mood. I sorted out so much stuff and tidied loads of drawers out, but I just never got around to my wardrobe. And now we're like the, on the third week of Jan and I'm only just doing it. But I feel like over Christmas, I was so motivated. And then come actually January, I was like, oh no. I'm not ready for this, um, but I think I'm ready to do it today. Over Christmas, I basically just wore so many basic clothes. When I go to my wardrobe, it's all tightly packed. I can't see clearly what I've got. And then if I can't see clearly what I've got, mentally I can't picture outfits, if that makes sense. So today I just wanna have a very ruthless sort out tidy out my drawers because I haven't been folding things back away properly. I've just been shoving them in the drawers. So today it's gonna to be a very good, fingers crossed, tidying day. So my mask needs to stay on for 10 to 15 minutes. So I thought while I'm just like getting set up for the wardrobe tidy, I would just leave this on. My outfit today for being at home is this jumper. This is from H&M. I've got these cream Adenola leggings on. They kind of look like legs. Does it actually just what look like? I've just got a jumper on. And then these socks. I think these are from, these are from Amazon. So yeah, just comfortable and cozy. Oh, Bertie keeps barking outside the window and I keep thinking someone's out there, but it's a cat. Okay, so the reality in this room is this big pile. I just keep putting it on the floor instead of hanging it up. So I think what I'm actually going to do first is go through all of my hanging items, take out things that I don't want anymore, then take out things from the drawers that I don't want then I can kind of put this back away and as I'm putting it back away then I can like organize it into categories the drawers are like not opening not closing properly uh, so yeah this situation needs tidying <laughs> Okay, so my skin is feeling so just refreshed. It feels very soft and kind of just what it needed. Um, but I'm not gonna do any makeup or anything today. I'm gonna have a nice, like, just no makeup day. I just love no makeup days so much. I'm just gonna do like a little half up, half down, just while I'm at home today i'm gonna use my bare minerals strength and length serum brow gel i just love coating my brows in this when i'm not like wearing any makeup um because it still gives your brows like a bit of shape and it's like a really nice um little like, treatment for them my lips always need lip balm i'm using the authored and lip balm this is the same brand as that amazing mascara that i absolutely love at the minute it's um from tanya burr who i followed from literally like day one she's probably like the first blogger youtuber that i ever followed so to now use her products it feels like it's so nice and they are honestly honestly very very good products i think there's only like five products in the collection but they are really nice and then for my skin I'm going to use the um, Eye Revive Eye Mask from Elemis. It's quite like a thick gel. So I'm just going to leave that on under there to soak in. I just love 
you know, smothering my face in skincare and just letting it like soak in and breathe all day. And then I'm using the Marine Cream from Elemis, but the ultra rich one. So I use this when my skin is feeling like a bit dry. I don't use this very often, um, but there's not like loads left. So I do use it, but I do find it a bit rich to put uh, like makeup over the top. It's definitely for like no makeup days, but I just um, love, yeah, just to smother this. Just messed up my brows now. Oh, and put that down my neck. I fake tanned my hands and arms and chest the other day, but not my face, so a bit of a colour difference. So feeling fresh and let's get back to the wardrobe. So these two drawers currently have my trousers in. If you've watched my wardrobe organisation vlogs, you probably would have seen these. And you'll also know the, the pain that is this radiator. So the drawer doesn't come all the way out. But as you can see, all of my blue jeans are very neatly folded at the back, which basically means that I haven't got a single pair out since I last cleared out my wardrobe, which was probably at the end of summer last year. I just, I don't know, I don't go for my blue jeans that often. And also this whole drawer is still fairly neat, meaning I haven't got anything out. I've used the top drawer mainly for my go-to pieces. But I'm now thinking, like, what's the point of having them in here if I'm just not going to wear them? I feel a lot more ruthless with jumpers and tops for some weird reason. But I just can't part with some of my trousers. I think it's because I do find trousers harder to fit. And when I get a pair that fit, I'm going to keep them. So I just think I I'm, not, I'm not ready to um, commit to losing any of these. <laughs> I will go through them. There are actually a couple of pairs that definitely don't fit. This pair from River Island are a really nice pair of like smart high-waisted trousers. They've still got the tag in them, but they just do not fit, so they can go in my Depop pile. I've got loads of nice things going in my Depop pile. It's not that I don't like them. I just I'm just not wearing them, and I just can't bear to have them in my wardrobe anymore. So I'm gonna go through these trouser piles um, and yeah, see what I'm gonna keep. What I might actually do is because this this is part of a set where is the shirt um this what i might do actually is hang these together put the trousers on this hanger here so that they're kept a bit more neatly together yesterday there was sun and there was rain delivery has just arrived and I'll show you what it was you know what I ordered so I ordered these they were dried olive branches and I wanted to like put them in a big vase I always buy fresh eucalyptus so there's like a having bricks delivered next to them there's a flashing truck um yeah I wanted I always have eucalyptus in the house like dried in vases but I just thought oh it might be really nice to get some olive stems so I ordered those let me show you what's arrived and they've arrived just like in this flimsy envelope I ordered them from Etsy by the way and here they are they like all of the leaves have just fallen off and I'm just left with some twigs of course I have asked for a refund um, and let's hopefully and hopefully I can get a refund but just they need to be packaged a bit better and they're supposed to be dried and they're just like feel a bit damp
okay I've had a bit of a reshuffle and what I have done is I've put all of my like jersey sweatshirts in this drawer it is a bit tight but I think that'll be okay but I've just got to not be lazy and actually fold them back up once I've washed them and put them away um, which has like which has given me so much space in this compartment I changed my wardrobes over from like winter to summer so this is all kind of wintry bits but I do keep like a few t-shirts um, out in the winter then I've got shirts here and then over the last couple of wardrobe clear outs I've really really reduced my blazers and this is all I have I think there are a couple um, in these piles but yeah I've really reduced those which means that I can now have this whole hanging space for my knitwear because at the moment and in the season we are all I wear is my knitwear basically and I just think for me having it folded up I just don't look at it properly I need it hung up so now I can have this full section for my jumpers and knitwear and things like that because um, then I think I can get the most wear out of it because I can actually see it then so I'm going to start hanging and putting all of this stuff back um, now that we are a bit clearer and then over here I haven't quite got to this bit yet but this is where I have coats um, in this door I can't even get in here <laughs> Um, there's more coats in there um, but I keep the coats like my kind of favorite coats in here but I need to have a bit of a reshuffle and then now this box has become available so I think I'm gonna put my scarves in here because some are so thick and bulky and when they're folded they take up so much space so I think they will work quite well in there hungry so I'm going to take a quick lunch break I really fancy something like a tuna and cheese toasty for lunch so I think we've got everything to make that so I'm just gonna have a quick bit of lunch and then I can carry on toasty is ready to be toasted we've got tuna mayo I actually mixed a bit of Perinase in there as well just a little something something oh, uh, that is my alarm to upload so I'll do that in a sec cheese and then some bread we have been trying a new bread this one from tesco it's the tesco finest sunflower and pumpkin loaf it's so nice and when i did the tesco shop the other day if you watched our weekend vlog um <laughs> i love lure pack so much so we actually bought the big tub because it was on offer so i've got this little like toasty rack that came with our toaster so there it is and then like to move that over a bit like oh my god my tuna's already oozing out of its of its little bread holes whoops and then down it goes here it is out of the toaster now i just need to make sure it doesn't stick yes oh my god and we've got toasty lines i just have to go for the slide i like the crunch when you cut it A very basic lunch, but it's really what I fancied. I have eaten my toasty, so back to the wardrobe now. But what I didn't say at the beginning, I was eager to get in the wardrobe, so I didn't explain things very well. Um, but I really want to kind of strip back my wardrobe and really just keep things that I love and that I know I'm gonna wear. I think we are all guilty of clinging on to things just in case um, and there are definitely things like that you won't wear all the time but obviously you don't want to get rid of um, I have two drawers of trousers that I basically never wear but I think you have to be in the right kind of headspace to get rid of them I'm not at the moment so I'm gonna leave those but I think if you've got things taking up space in your wardrobe that you know you're probably never gonna wear I really think just get rid of them because even if you're not replacing them with new things, it gives your wardrobe more space to spread out. So when you go to your wardrobe, you can just see so much more easier what you have. 
and as I said earlier I think it is more clearer on your brain as well like to see outfits and also just by moving my blazers into that different section it feels a lot fresher in there so I think actually if you can have a reshuffle of your wardrobe perhaps like move the layout of things I think that can really freshen it up as well I've made a cup of tea and brought it up with me so I'm going to carry on hanging up the big pile of clothes that's on the floor as I said earlier some of my really like thick chunky stuff uh, scarves I'm gonna try and fold up in here so for now I'm just gonna pop them in there and I'll organize them when I've got more in there if you have a loft or under bed space or on top of wardrobe space or shed space or any kind of space I think it's so good to to basically have kind of two wardrobes and switch them over so all of my really summery things are now in the loft and then like come when we come into kind of spring i will take all of my like wintery things out and change over i think then you are more in the correct mindset when you come to your wardrobe because if you come into your wardrobe and there was like loads of floral summer dresses you're just not like you're not there we're in winter you're not going to wear that um so yeah i do think that that's a really good tip and i use the big dimper bags from ikea i don't know if i've got any spare ones um around i will have a look out i'll pop a picture in here but those kind of bags are so so good for storing clothes <laughs> other um recent wardrobe clear outs i got rid of so many pairs of shoes and just this is what i have now and it's just organized so much better so you might have already seen this but i store my converse like this and it just is such a big space saver doing it like this so i've got all my converse there and trainers in that area and i've got some little shoes there uh more there i've got boots here more boots and then some more trainers here i have um all of my new balance trainers downstairs in our porch because i wear those loads so i just have them down there to grab and then i um just keep my tool boots stood up in front of here but what i would really like to get would be um like a nice box that would because we've got the radiator thing here if it could fit in like here like a nice wicker box then i can stand my boots that would be perfect actually i think that these are called scubs from ikea they do all like different sizes um but i have put all of my um scarves and hats in here um again when when we get to like spring and summer next year obviously all of this will go um into the loft so i might then replace this with shorts or swimwear or something more summery so i folded up all of my scarves here i've i keep like um shoe boxes or nice little boxes because they're really good for like little dividers and things like this so i've put my caps in here and then i've put my woolly hats and like little beanies and bits in there just like made all of the sleeves very neat so that looks very nice on the eye and i think it sounds silly but when you make it nice like this it becomes more enjoyable when you're in here looking at it thinking oh my gosh i love that i love that i think if you display it nicely your brain likes it more um and you're more inclined to wear it so now my camera battery is flashing at me so i'm going to pop that on charge for a bit i'm going to sort out this section in here so i have two areas of my coats 
I've got some in here and I know I have got so many coats and it's absolutely not necessary for anyone to own this many coats but I have like there's just none that I don't like I love all of my coats so much so I'm gonna have a little shuffle around and maybe put some from in here into here because sometimes in here they do get forgotten about so I'm going to move some in here um, and just re this. Things like a trench coat doesn't need to be in here because it's kind of too cold for a trench coat so that can go in there until spring. Um, okay so we are quite tidy. I'm actually really pleased with all of this. I was supposed to sort out the top of the wardrobe but I just feel like that's not today. I think if you try and overdo it, what's going on with my collar? If you try and overdo it on the organisation, you get tired, you get like fatigued of it and it's just too much. I think little bits at a time, like I think four hours max. I reckon I've spent like three or four hours in here. Yesterday I took the sofa covers off of my sofa and washed them. So they have been drying for like 24 hours and I think they're dry now. So I'm going to put all of those back on now. Uh, but before I do that, I just wanted to say a huge, huge thank you to you guys who spend your time watching my videos honestly i just feel like you know, time is so precious and if you have got to this part of the video thank you so much honestly it really means so much and like, i just can't believe that people watch my videos i have a feeling this is gonna take quite a while to get the sofa cushions back on i have only done this once and it took me ages to get them back in because some are really tight they smell really nice um okay oh yes okay perfect so that's number seven so what I did was, um, I numbered, or oh, can you see it says number seven on there? So I numbered them so that hopefully it makes it easier to like put it all back together. So let's do that. I've just done one and it took about eight minutes but it was the corner one it was really hard to get that little corner bit in I'm hoping that the others are easier I'm very hot now <laughs> Okay, all of the cushions are back on and I also washed the covers of like the little decorative cushions. It all smells really nice from the fabric softener and yeah, looks so, so much cleaner. And now I'm just gonna do a blanket wash. So I last saw you when I was washing my blankets um, and just having like a living room refresh, like washing all the cushion covers, washing all the blankets, just really like felt like it really freshened up the room, which was so nice. And I can't actually remember if I showed you the finished tidy wardrobe, so I'm going to do that now. So everything is looking so much tidier. So I went with blazers here and I do have summer blazers, which are mainly linen, but they are with my summer clothes um so these are my blazers i've got out now blazers up to here then i have got some like shirts and blouses and then like t-shirts um and little bits like that then this section is just purely knitwear um i wanted to hang all of my knitwear up i had i did have some folded but i just wasn't wearing the folded items i feel like i really need things hung up um i tried to like color code it well not color code like color organize it a little bit and then the black jumper is like the end of the jumpers and then I've got a few jumper dresses that I have put in the end there then obviously come kind of spring and summer all of this will be packed away to be honest I'll probably keep a few like jumpers out um less of like the heavy knitwear just a few jumpers I'll leave out because you know what it's like in the UK a bit unpredictable and then moving over here I hung up coats and jackets so I'm absolutely loving this little section and um, so I've got shorter jackets here and then my longer jackets here to be honest I didn't sort out all of my drawers you saw the sweatshirt drawer uh, that's actually an empty drawer which is good trousers up here 
you saw this where I put all of my like uh, scarves and hats and bits and that just sits in there really nicely. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. If you don't already, I'd love if you would subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon. Bye!